Hey YouTube, hi, this is Spirit Journey, just saying hello again. Yeah, uh, you probably recognize what I'm, you know, what in my little sweater I'm wearing. Yeah, I just did a video on my hair, you know, my hair care. But uh, I also wanted to do this one. Uh, this one is about uh, a commentary. Um, well, I should say commentary, but like yesterday night was a... Uh, internet radio uh, program that had the author um, Vera Courtenay. Um, she is known as um, what was her name? Oh, Vera Seven Forty Seven. You know that's a YouTube channel, and she was discussing. It was a part three uh, discussion on her book. Okay, The Age of I Know. Okay, and. Um, Oops, I did. I'm trying to <laughs> everything is like backwards when you move it. But yeah, this was the book that it was discussing, okay? And and it was a quad three. And for me, it's um it it's 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 challenging reading for me and um I'm just mentally all over the place and as my uh channel name says uh, that this is spirit journey and I'm definitely uh, going places, but right now I feel like I'm going around in circles, you know. So I, I said to myself, I said, you know, I'm getting all this information, you know, th this reading, and um, it, it's just a little bit difficult for me to read. And sometimes when you want to learn something, you need to read other sources, and it seems to enhance your... Um, understanding when you have different, you know, because everyone has a different way of talking or, or expressing themselves, you know, and uh, it was just something that someone told me uh, growing up, and it, it seems to work when you use different sources on the same topic, you, you seem to learn more, so I said, you know, I really want to understand what Vera 747 is trying to say, um, because I want to know about uh, history and my history in particular and, and world history and, and as you know as I mentioned my other prior videos that um, I initially was uh, an atheist and then I got introduced to Christianity so I was a, a, a Christian a fundamentalist uh, Christian for I think over 30 years you know um, yeah e easily over 30 years and um so now it's like i I'm, I'm questioning and what's really similar to vera 747 um and myself is that what it, it seems like what initially introduced to her you know d to investigate her her belief system was racism and I would say that it's the same with me also. And it's interesting, we're both New Yorkers, you know. Both, uh, I, I think both of us were born in New York City. You know, I was born in New York City. And um, I, you know, something that happened. And um, it, it just had me really questioning. You know, I, I stopped going to church um, about 13 months, yeah, 13 months ago. And it wasn't a bad church. It, it was a, a, you know, church here in the city. And uh, but it, just something was missing, you know. And it's not the first church that I left, but just something in me was just getting edgy. And um, I also at that time was let's see, I used to listen to this ministry over the internet. And he, he was a fundamental, uh, fundamentalist uh, Christian, you know, a Baptist, like a Southern Baptist. And his ministry focused on like Bible prophecy and you know those those. Um, how do you say? Cause yeah, I would say conspiracy theorists, you know, you know, all rolled up into one. And I thought his ministry was really interesting, interesting, and. 
one day he said something that uh you know, I caught him, you know, he, he was saying something I wasn't sure about someone, you know. He he was, it, it was of a racial incident that happened and he was upset. He, he, he's a white minister and he, um, it was with that Tra Trayvon Martin, uh, the young 17 year old who got killed by George Zimmerman. This happened in Florida. And someone responded, a, 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 a I don't know what individual, but some someone in the black community had said, you know, I I guess he was talking about revenge for the the killing of the the young innocent uh, black black child, and uh, so this white minister heard it and got angry at the person's wanting to revenge and said something, you know, negative about these two. Uh, black leaders, but those two black leaders had nothing, you know, never said what he said they, that they said, but I, I checked it out first and um, found out that, you know, my instincts were right, and so I contacted that minister, you know, e via email, and um, his response I thought was very immature, and um, I just thought he was just being racist in, in, in his heart. Um, I, I just didn't like it, you know. I, I understand it's, you know, you have a right to your feelings, to be upset. You know, someone said something about, hey, let's re revenge, whatever, if, if justice isn't done, whatever. And he, and the, the minister was scared. You know, talk about that person who said it, you know, that specific person. But to, you know, just attack a, 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 a black leader just because he's a black leader, you know, I, I thought it wasn't fair. So that was initially what um, got me, I think, really analyzing my faith in people, my, my faith in religion, the, the institution of religion. And uh, I stopped watching that man's uh, ministry. I stopped supporting him and I, and I stopped watching him, you know. And I was a real big fan of his. I watched his ministry for maybe three years and I contributed to his, you know, his ministry and I think that was the start of it so that's going on three years of uh, that incident <clears throat> and uh, so that that was really festering and then I was remembering uh, other things that happened to me growing up I had an opportunity to live in the Caribbean the US Virgin Islands to be specific and um, you have minister, uh, ministers, or and what do you call it, uh, missionaries. They're still going into the Caribbean and um, proselytizing. You have more churches in the Caribbean. They have it's a very religious, they're into relig religiosity in the Caribbean. You know, so it's it's no short of religion in the Caribbean. But he was a a European American fellow and uh, from from Minnesota and um, he he was like I thought like trying to do that white supremacy and uh, if you, and if you didn't agree with with them it's like you're sinning and you you're going to go to hell and that's what he actually told me and but he meant it and it, it's like a weapon a weapon of knowledge and a weapon of how to approach religion and so all these things I started really thinking and, and analyzing and then watching Vera 747's channel and um, you know as you know she was a, a Jehovah Witness and she was sharing her experience with that institution and um, you know the, the, the built-in racism in the institutionalized religion uh, called Jehovah Witnesses, or it could be, you know, Protestantism, you know, all these different Christian um, denominations, and uh, and you know, I didn't like that. I I said, you know, who's to say how uh, we're to practice uh, Christianity 
and a lot of it, like like Santa Claus, you know, this isn't something biblical, but everything is like you could anything what a European says how we're to celebrate uh, Christianity is you know okay. I'm saying, well, wait a minute, you know that Christianity doesn't come from Europe. It, it started out in in uh, the land of Canaan, and it has its traditions, its way of, of doing things, and it, it you know it, it evolved into Europe. But you you also had Christianity <clears throat> that went into North Africa, you know, in the early days. So who's to say who has a monopoly on religion? And um, I'm I'm really Exploring what 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 is true, you know. I never question um, religious authority because I thought they were next to God. You know, they were godly people, and if you say or disagree with them, you know that you you're an evil person. And I believed that. You know, it was hands off. So it's it's like a like a, a lure of the people of the cloth as as, as they are called, you know, no, no matter what religion they are, you know, in my, in my book, in my house race, so whether they're um, Christian, uh, rabbi, <coughs> um, the, the Muslim faith, any faith system, any of those people, their hands off, you don't say anything bad about them, you know. So I was really, you know, brainwashed in. Um, who these religious leaders are. So, um, so getting into you know what that um, interview with uh, Vera Quatame, who uh, wrote the, who wrote this book, you know, it, it's just really analyzing why we believe what we believe, what's true, what's not true, and uh, and throughout my my videos that I've been doing, like I uh, last summer <clears throat> I went to the Museum of Natural History and I, I'm seeing all these skeletons and uh, skulls of of people who are over 6,000 years old. You know, they, the Bible says that man was created 6,000 years ago about, I mean, that about 6,000 years ago it, it said that the, that man started to develop. And uh, but I'm seeing these skulls are um, 100,000, 80,000, 40,000 years old, and uh, so I'm questioning. But hey, how could that happen? I thought the Earth was supposed to be only 6,000 years old, and you know, so I'm starting to so so something has to change, you know, knowing these little informations, and you you have to say hey. So what I believed or what how I interpreted what the Bible was saying, something has to give. So um, I, I want to investigate this. I, I, want to, I want to know why I believe what I believe. And if something that I believe is not true, like, you know, I, I, again, I, I used to be an atheist. And if you, if you can't see it, smell it, hear it, touch it, you know, it doesn't exist. But... I started thinking back. I, I experienced some things that were um, out of the usual, and I've I've spoke to people, and they've seen things. Um, you know they, they, that they've experienced things of the of the supernatural. So I'm saying, hey, there's a world that I don't really know about that exists alongside me. So. Because with the, the, the book that I'm reading by Rare 747, you know, I'm a, I'm, I am confused with the, the material. And so I said, you know, let me just take a breather from a book. But I, I did go to the library. The, the, down the block, there's a library, that, this major library in Manhattan. You know, they, I was surprised that they, they really don't have a lot of books on the subject, you know, of you know, the ancient history, um, the book does discuss, you know, Vera 747's book does talk about 
uh, certain belief systems. And so uh, this belief system, um, the, the histories of the people of Sumeria. And so I want to, I, I, I got about maybe five, let's see, one, two, three, five books from the library. And I want to find out for myself. I want to try to understand what's going on, what, what the different belief system. This is going to be a start of my search with, you know, to try to understand her book, you know. So this is one of the books I got. Okay. Okay, let's see. Myths, myths from Mesopotamia, Creation, the Flood, Gilgamesh, and others. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, the second one. This one is let's see by Joan Oates, Babylon. You know, revised edition. That's what that is. Okay, that's book number two. Book number three. I think we're going to read this one first. The Sumerians. Okay. So I got that. And then I got this one. Okay, this is more recent. <laughs> you know, you know what's happening now in the in the Middle East, you know, the, the US and other troops invaded Iraq and they took a lot of stuff. <laughs> From their museum. This is where Sumeria is in this country, Iraq. Okay, so it's looting of the Iraq Museum, Baghdad, the lost legacy of ancient Mesopotamia. Okay, so that's what that is. Okay, and then last but not least, okay, this is called the Lost Civilization. Sumer, Cities of Eden, it's a nice statue, so that's what that is, okay, so, these are five books, <laughs> they really didn't have a lot of books on that country, you know, and, uh, but this is a start, and if need be, I might um, order some books online, but I just wanted to get a feel what's out there. So this is, you know, going to be a start. I'm going to read these books to try to understand, you know, the history of that part of the world because, uh, because this book talks about some of the histories of the, these people that I, the books I got from the library. So, um, this is what so this is what I want to do. I want to read it. I want to write notes, and so I can really better understand um, about my history. And this is just going to be a beginning. I hope I I hope I finish it. You know, because I really want to um, find out what is and what is it. And again, some things I just don't maybe just history, and I mean stories. But again whether it's proof. You know, I guess, I guess in, in a nutshell what I'm trying to say is you can have multiple cultures that have similar, um, what do you call it, stories, myth mythologies. And, you know, like the, the flood story you had in many, many civilizations on this side of the war, you know, of the ocean and the opposite side of the ocean. There's a flood story, but it doesn't necessarily mean that, that people are, are, what do you call it, are um, stealing someone's history. If you all experience the same thing, so that is um, indigenous to you, but if something is borrowed, let's say when someone invades someone's con country and they take on their religious systems or customs, you know, um, so th someone might say, well, they, they borrowed someone's culture or whatever, you know. So I want to find out whether something was um, adopted on because of, uh, of, you know, invasion or, or 
it was something that was going on in different places at the same time, so you could write about the same story, you know. So that's what I want to do, and um, you know, if 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 I feel like I need to do another video as I'm going along reading these materials, you know, then I'll share that information also. Okay, so I'm signing off, and uh, take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye.